Good morning, everyone. This is Brenda at KBW Bargains, and this is a what sold video over the weekend and shipping on May 22nd, Monday. Um, we had some good sales. I hope you guys are having some good sales. I had sales across the board on Poshmark and Macari. Um, and so I was happy with them. Well, I think we sold about 20, 25 or 26 items which is uh, perfect for me. I, I usually list 10 items and I like to ship 10 items. Um, and I've been doing that here lately with some good sales. Uh, we went to um, some yard sales over the weekend and uh, we went to a community uh, sale. I love the community sales. I love when all the garage sales are in one location. But um, yeah, so we got some, and I listed them and they sold uh, pretty fast for us. The as a reference to our cost of goods, uh, all clothing, I try to keep under $2. Hats, I try to keep under, I usually get them about 50, 25 to 50 cents. Hard goods, I try to keep them under $5, unless it's a really good and we check the comps. I don't mind paying up for hard goods because um, the hard goods are selling well for us. So right into eBay, eBay sales, we have... A Nike Team Oregon Ducks beanie sold for eleven dollars. Uh, the beanies I sell them all year round. It doesn't matter if it's hundred degrees out. And the Oregon Ducks, the local teams, uh, sports teams, and colleges: Oregon Ducks, State Beavers, the Portland Trail Blazers, the Portland Timbers Soccer League. Um, they all it, it sells well for us, so I pick it up. And it, I mean, people bypass that a lot in the bins. And I pick it up. I look them over, make sure that, the, especially the clothes, because lately I've been overlooking. I think I've been rushing myself, but I find, um, I don't find the mistakes until I get home. Uh, next up is a Lincoln Mint Harley Davidson model. We sold that for $42.95 plus shipping. Um, that was a good, that was a good find over the weekend. Friday, actually, we went to a community sale in a small town about 20 miles from us, and they all got together. That town is really small, and then they all got together and put a garage sale on, and they had a map, so it was just nice picking through and going to all the spots, but this gentleman was the nicest guy. He was giving free water away where every, everybody else was charging water, a dollar, dollar fifty for pop. And uh, it was Friday, and he was just wanting to make deals left and right. And he had models uh, that were sealed and some models that weren't sealed. And Kevin bundled it up, and I think we got this for about 2 to $3. And we sold for 42 so I was happy with that. I love when people are just w willing to will and deal and get rid of their stuff. Um, some people hold on, <laughs> hold on until the very end. Um, next up is ASICs women's gel running shoes I can tell by the background and there's no month or year in the SKU that these are old and so I do have sales I run sales twice a week one through Monday through Thursday and another one through Friday through Sunday and I'm I'm pretty sure this was on a sale and I also took an offer so they sold for $24 I was happy with that but these were really nice shoes when I pick up shoes I usually don't have to do any cleaning to them. Don't have to pick anything out of the soles. And these were really nice. It was just too bad they didn't sell faster um, because uh, it was a decent size, seven and a half. Um, but I can tell by the by the picture, I could have done better. I don't pose my shoes that way anymore. So, but um, yeah, that should have sold faster. I don't like that uh, when you remove the background to make it white. I just use this right here and I can prop these up so it goes a little bit on the wall. But this is perfect. I love the lighting. I like the, the you know, the flat. Someday I'll get the one, that, you know, the two where the table goes up and down. But for now, this works perfect. Um, and the pictures come out much better. Next up is a Care Bear. I sold that for $9.50. I had it listed for $11.50 and it sold within 15 minutes. Um... When I go to the bins or if I go to any garage sales, especially toys, uh, children's clothing, I try to do bundles. So like if I find a toy that's, I don't know, Sesame Street, I'll try to see if they have a bunch of other figures that are Sesame Street. I'll try to bundle them up. This had 
two Care Bears in the same bin that I was looking at. And the blue, I had a blue one. This is Surprise Bear. And I got Bedtime Bear. Well, Bedtime Bear is blue, a light blue. And he he was he was not in the worst condition, but he needed some uh, surface cleaning. And he had on his chest, it looked like a little, a little kid had made a star in pen. So, um, but it was light, but, um, I debated whether to put those together or not. And I ended up selling them separately and, um, just cause of weight. And because this one is so nice, there was not a thing wrong with it. Nothing's fading, nothing's, you know, um, worn on it. A lot of times their nose will get worn or the Care Bear little button that's on their bottom will get worn down. Perfect condition and it sold quickly. And the other thing with this Care Bear is the gentleman, I'm assuming by his name on the uh, on his account, he sent me a message wanting to know if I had any more Care Bears that were 12 inches. That's the size he's looking for. And I said, well, and I told him about the Blue Bear that I had just listed told him the the flaws in it so he and he, he didn't get it so I assumed he didn't like it but he asked if I had any more not listed if if he would tell me and I'll he'll he'll look them over and he'll buy them so I wrote down his name this is good public uh customer relations so I try to keep tabs if any customer wants more of one item I try to keep that on file and so if I'm out and about and I get a lot of care bears garage sales, you know, estate sales, the bins especially. So I will keep that in mind. So when I get them, he'll be the first person I message to see if he wants them. But he that sold quickly. I was happy with that. And it just goes into a poly bag. Uh, next up is a pickleball paddle for $80. This I really like. Um, Kevin's into pickleball. He teaches all across the United States in camps to teach other people how to play pickleball. And he has excess of these sometimes. And so he'll sell them, try to sell them on here. And we get a lot of offers on these. Um, I don't, we get a lot of low ball offers. We got a lot of backpacks and um, they're used backpack, backpacks that he's used. And then he gets more and then he, we recycle them out. But um, they're really nice backpacks. Um, but we get a lot of low ball offers on our pickleball stuff. We kind of hold steady. I think we had that for about $99, but we took 80 on it. I consider that fair. Next up is an Insignia extended play battery pack for a Nintendo Switch that sold for $21.95. Yeah, plus shipping. And that was a good sale. This is a, it's funny. When we go, when I go to, when we travel, because I travel sometimes with Kevin. This is where I pick up some stuff. But we go to Vancouver, Washington quite a bit. And on the way back, um, we decided to look up some thrift stores along our way in small little towns. Mom and Pop thrift, stop, uh, thrift stores. I love them. But uh, I like to look at the comments. Because you can always tell what kind of thrift store it's going to be by the comments. Um, some people go, oh, it's the friendliest place. It smells so nice. It's so clean. Everything's organized. Uh, I just know it's going to be overpriced. But this place that I got this from... He, um, the comment was hysterical. He was an angry customer. I don't know for what reason, um, but he said, don't go here. Don't stop here. It smells, it stinks, it's gross, it's dark, it's dingy. And they have piles of clothes that you have to sort through yourself. Nothing's organized. Kevin, we're stopping. We're stopping. I love, the, I love this place. If you've been to the bench, you've had to dig. So for digging, I don't, I don't mind. And Usually when people are putting out bad comments, they're way, being very dr dramatic about it. And it was, it was dark and they didn't really have anything organized. They had just bags of clothes on the floor. I, I like to dig. So I dug and we found quite a bit of stuff there and nothing's priced. The guy wants to make me an offer. So we made him an offer. So we got this probably for about one or two dollars and sell it for 21. I consider that a good flip. But he was the nicest guy, at least I thought he was. He was really hard of hearing, but we'll go back. We'll go back. So I like those places. Dark and dingy, I'm all over it. All right, the next is a vintage Panasonic uh, CD player. We sold it for $27, 45 cents plus shipping. And um, this, this vintage Panasonic, um, I don't know who, if you guys cross post, we cross post all of our stuff from eBay 
using list perfectly i don't post into list perfectly i post everything on ebay and then cross post it across, um, to macari and poshmark and this sold actually on poshmark and as soon as it sold i get a message that's always a bad sign but they said oh i'm so sorry i meant my brother this isn't exactly what my brother wanted and could you cancel the order well sure i'll cancel the order but it does make uh you know some time i gotta go back not that much i just go back to ebay and um because once it sells on poshmark or macari or ebay then i go to the other two sites and i delete them from those sites um but the nice thing is is that when you end an item on ebay it doesn't delete it it just puts it in the unsold so that was an easy one i just went to the unsold sold similar got it back up and it sold within an hour i think to to somebody on um well i sold it here on ebay so that was fine um but yeah that's the only thing about liz perfectly and we've been doing a great job here lately because when we first were cross posting oh, the cancellations that we had to make and you never want to do that to ebay um and so now we are right on top of that when something sells doesn't take long because like I said we only have three three platforms that we sell on so far we do a little bit of uh Facebook but that was easy to take off but an easy sell um next up is a Columbia knit build beanie um I sold wow I sold it for ten dollars that's kind of low but and it was posted in April but somebody probably gave me an offer Columbia beanies really any beanies um we sell uh, we get quite often at all the, that's the first thing I look for when I go to garage sales or the bins is hats. If they're in good condition, I pull them out. So these are dime a dozen. We get them for, you know, 10 cents, probably less than that at the bins. Well, they're usually under four ounces. So take that because it's $1.59 a pound. But um, yeah, they're a dime a dozen. So I don't mind selling them cheaper because um, we sell a lot of beanies. It doesn't matter if it's build, but that's that was a nice beanie. I, was, I would have preferred to got more for it, but I will sell it. Next up is a cheetah, excuse me, Batman, the cheetah caper, 1969, big little book. And this, we sold that for $10 with shipping. That is, it was, it was a small book, probably about that big, that big, but it was thick, really thick. And, um, we got that at a last summer and uh, we got it into a big, huge bundle, um, a big a sorority, women's sorority group. And all of their families were doing a huge garage sale in a, a building. Um, it's like a grange that we have here in our little small town. And so uh, they had some great brand new in the box uh, toys, uh, models, uh, we had a 19, I can't remember what year, but it was, um, oh, I can't think of it right off my top of my head. It has the charger Dukes of Hazard car, little model we sold for like 70 some dollars, but that was a good one because I think that pretty much paid for our big bundle. And we had so much stuff that we got for just, you know, like a dollar each. And so this is, I was more than happy to take $10, excuse me, that well paid for it. We've gotten so much into the profit on that bundle. Next up is a a Nikon Nikon camera, digital camera. We get a lot of cameras, and this sold for ninety five dollars plus shipping of one hundred eighteen all in. We sell we get a lot of cameras at the garage sales, even the bins. I found a really nice camera at the Las Vegas bins, and um, it, we sold that for over a hundred dollars. But the cameras. Um, this even came with a charger and after we charged the battery and put it back in, the camera worked perfect and it comes with the charger, the, um, uh, battery, the lens cap, the strap and the case. And Kevin bought that for $5. I think it was originally for like, I don't know, 20 or $30. And it was like the last day and Kevin made him an offer and he took it. And so we brought it back. So we've, the only thing about cameras is that you do have to, we test all of ours and if it, they don't work, then we just will sell them for parts. And you'd be surprised what you can get for cameras just for parts because you know a lot of camera experts, they know it's just a small little tweak and they can fix it. But um, yeah, we try to get cameras in all of the places that we go sourcing 
because I mean, usually they've got them for $5, $3. I've gotten a lot of them for $3 and flipped for, you know, $40, $50. And so I was happy to get this one because a lot of people don't want to take the time to go get batteries. And now I got a full collection of batteries and you get to write them off for supplies. And, um, and now I can pretty much buy any camera because I'll have the batteries for it. Um, next up is a Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster Macintosh Mac Play. This is a computer game. Um, we bought this at um, a Goodwill, just a regular Goodwill, uh, I'm going to say two years ago. And it was just a regular Goodwill. So we probably paid about mm, 3 to $5 each. I can't remember exactly what we paid for it, but it was it was not a dollar. And we sold it for eight seventy two plus shipping. And um, I think this was our last one. Yep, no more available, but we had five of them. And it was funny because we went, you know, almost a year of not selling them. And I've sold two in a week just by having it on a sale. So that's the nice thing about running sales. And um, next up is Danner Boots, Rampant Danner Boots. Uh, sold them for thirty nine ninety five. That was probably just bought outright. Um, but plus shipping. But these were really in bad condition. They are still toe. I probably could have asked more because Danner boots are kind of like car hearts. You can sell them even when they're damaged. Um, but they didn't have any holes, no rips. I mean, well, some rips. The The leather was cracking. The leather wasn't in the best shape. But people, I guess, you know, a lot of people like their boots broken in. So they're not so stiff. I know they like them with the car hearts, pants, the work pants. But I was happy with that sale. But yeah, and plus it's, you know, it's... 11 a size 11 i probably should have asked more if they were like a nine a men's nine to eight to ten because 11 is kind of a big shoe next up is a safe house radio shack uh digital key switch this is an older it it um it looks older it just has an older look to it it doesn't look like it's a newer item so I would say it's vintage. I don't know. Is Radio Shack even still in business? But we sold that for $55. And this one sold. And for people who don't like returns, I don't mind returns. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. Just return it. I will relist it. And hopefully I don't sit on it too long. This I didn't. This gentleman, somebody had bought it. It didn't work for what they were doing. Um, and um, so they just you know, requested a return, no problem. And I listed, re got it back and I relisted it, sold similar, put a new number with it and it sold within a week. So I was happy it didn't sit for, I think we had this for two or three months. So I was happy it didn't sit for another two or three months. It sold quickly. It's funny how that works out. So that's all of eBay. Good sales. I'm happy with them. Um, a lot more hard goods than, uh, clothing. Uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little biased when it comes to clothing, clothing. It, we do sell, I mean, unless it's something really nice. It's pretty much our bread and butters. We get around here, but shipping is so nice. You just put it in a bag and put a label on it and it's good to go with hard goods. Um, we've got a wide selection of boxes down there, but it doesn't, uh, I don't want it to rattle. And so I have to, um, resize a lot of boxes when I do that, and Kevin's usually the one I say, oh, Kevin, you can do the hard goods, I'll do the clothing, and um, and so that works great, but he's out of town, so I had to do all the hard goods. I just had to do a bat the other day. I was like, oh my gosh. So next, we are on Poshmark. Now on eBay, one of the things I wanted to bring up is, um, I don't know what you guys do for your to increase your sales, to get them going, but I like to be active on all my sites. And it's surprising, you know, I'm not um, active on Macari because there's really nothing you can do but just list things on Macari and then it just kind of goes down the down the list. But on eBay, I um, offer best offer on all my items. I uh, promote my items, all my items, except for if we run a bid, I don't promote it. And um, I, after each each day or each after each sale, I go in and anything that's 90 days or older, I will end and relist. I will end anything that's 90 days or older, which is not a whole lot because I've got them pretty much all up to date. So everything's 90 days. And um, 
what else do I do? Because I try to keep very active. I send offers. I send a lot of offers. Most of our stuff is on offers. Either somebody's offering me or I send out offers. Because um, I want to get this stuff going. I want it out. On Poshmark, I have a Posher VA that, um, same thing. You can end items and relist them. If they're 90 days or older, you can set the days you want. I mean, you can have it for 90, uh, you know, six months if you wanted to. Um, but I do that after 90 days. I try to get everything, you know, back into the rotation. Um, also, I, ha I, send I share items. I also have it set. So anybody that likes the item will be sent an offer. We have send an offer. And I also take offers. And I also do bundles. I try to bundle as soon as they want something bundled. I send out an offer a little bit less than the 10% that I have now in bundles. And then also I share. I share what, five times a day, uh, 6 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. And I may do a couple before I go to bed. But I try to be active on this. Macari doesn't have anything. Uh, Macari, unless you do it manually, list and relist, I don't, I don't do it manually. Um, but I do get some good sales on there, but it's usually things that I just listed. So anyway, on Poshmark, so there's a little bit of what I do to keep things active and rolling. But on Poshmark, we sold a Columbia knit full zip hoodie jacket. Um, it's a small, um, I don't, I mean, smalls do move more slowly, but I find that um, if it's in good condition, I can't turn it away. If Even if it is a small, I cannot turn something away that's in perfect condition when I see it anywhere I'm at. Um, so I will get it um, and then just let it sit. This didn't sit too long though. I had this, not. I, it's been within the last two or three months. Sold it for $13, happy with that. Red Ledge Full Zip Hoodie Windbreaker. It's a packable. It is a adult's extra small. And it comes in a bag. You just pack it in a bag. It's really nice. I like packables because um, windbreakers, packables, do well for us. Um, we sell a lot sell a lot of activewear. And windbreakers are activewear for people that run, hike, uh, cycle. And it's easy because you can start the morning wearing a windbreaker and then by the in, you know midday you can take it off, pack it away and and put it in your backpack or you know put in something storage. So it's nice. And that is Red Ledge. I've never heard of Red Ledge, but um if it it doesn't matter to me on the on the brand, it's more the style and windbreakers packable they sell. It might have sat for a long time because of the extra small, but $19, $10, I'll take it. It's been sitting there a while. I can tell by the white background. Next up is a vintage NBA Portland Trail Blazers sweat, sweatshirt. This was a really nice. It was $75, and um, this sent up red flags for me because I hate when people buy something and then they message you could you ship this to another address? Or my address is incorrect. Could you ship it to this address? And I don't like to do that. Just because of seller protection, if you sell, if, but this is on Poshmark. I mean, eBay does it. If you sell, if you ship it somewhere else, you can lose your seller protection. So I just politely asked them if they would change their address on their account so I can ship it on Monday. And um, yeah, they, they went ahead and went in and changed the uh, address. So I was happy for that. But yeah, I don't like, do you guys do that? I mean, Kevin says, well, what if somebody is uh, buying something for somebody else and they want it shipped to them? Um, I, I believe you can, but like on eBay, and this is what I've heard, is that you can use your, lose your seller protection by doing that. Next up is Nike Oregon Duck short sleeve t-shirt. This was a really nice shirt. I don't know. And it's a good size, large. Um, it's a women's large. But the graphics on this were cool. It's a, you know, uh, it's a cute shirt. The graphics weren't peeling. Everything was perfect. I don't know if, um, if, if because it's a women's. Women women don't like to wear college apparel. Because men, I sell a lot of, of uh, Oregon Ducks, Nike shirts. And yeah, so I don't know what happened there, but this was a really nice shirt. I really hated to just give it away for $12, but I'll take it. 
Um, next up is Merrill hiking shoes, women's nine and a half. These were nice. I didn't have to do anything to them. $30. Um, that's what I like about um, the bins. This came out of the bins and they were clean, clean. I didn't have to do a thing. Just put them on the table and take pictures. Next up is Carhartt, Oregon. Or, excuse me. Original fit short sleeve. Um, I only got $14 for this, but this is an example of a name brand. It doesn't matter if it's dirty. I've sold a lot of Carhartt pants that were distressed. A lot of distressing. This, the label, the logo, the uh, graphics on it were peeling, uh, not very clear. And it, but the shirt was in good condition, but the graphics, not so much. But it sold for $14 and it sold rather fast, so I like it. Next up is Crocs Superman Slip On Clogs Sandals. We sell a lot of Crocs, a lot of Crocs. And I thought, I don't know, over a year and a half ago, that Superman Crocs for kids, a J1 size, would sell fast. No, I guess little boys or little girls don't like Superman on their Crocs. But that is all for Poshmark. I would consider that some good sales on Poshmark. On Macari, I sold five items. That's really good. Like I said, I don't do anything except for list on Macari. But again, these were all things that I've listed other than these last two items. So get right into it. Um, on Macari, I sold a new and sealed first edition Pictionary. Kevin picked this up at a garage sale. We didn't, I, we paid very little for this. And um, it sold for $30. Sealed, really nice. Um, next up is outdoor sports cargo hiking pants. These were brand new, sold them for $24 plus shipping. <clears throat> These were brand new, never heard of outdoor sports, but they are the kind of hiking pants that I'm looking for. It's the style. Um, they're, I believe they were polyester, nylon, um, they're cargo, they're lightweight. Those are all the things that people that are in outdoor wear they like. So it doesn't matter on the brand, it just matters on the style, and that sold rather quickly, $24. Next up, Carhartt hat, don't need to say much about that, $15. Um, <clears throat> that was, um, you know, Carhartt, and it, it was in nice condition, it wasn't distressed, so that was a good sell, $15. But those sell fast. I wish I could just get Car uh, Carhartt all the time. Now this one sold, it took a long time. Red Bull Signature Series Full Zip. I thought for sure this would go when we bought it <laughs> over a year ago. You ever get that where you think it's gonna sell? But um, it sold for $16. Um, I can tell by the white background, but this has been here for a long time. It was a really nice uh, zip up jacket. It was lightweight. I believe it was polyester. It's like a performance jacket. I'll take it. Um, next is Tonga. Girls reversible bucket hat. This was so cute, but very, very small. Um, I think I had that listed, you know, ten, ten dollars, but I've been taking offers. Took eight. Girls clothes, I mean uh children's clothes. I like to just get get it going and get it out. I try not to pick them up if I don't, but this was such a cute hat. It was reversible. Had a little thing around the the, the neck. But that's all I have for the weekend sales. I consider that a win. I hope you guys had some great sales over the weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.